Hi everyone, welcome to Hunter Gatherer Cooking. Today I'm doing a video on all of my Petromax products that I have. I get asked loads of questions every time I use them, all about the individual ones. So what I thought I'd do is put a video together, summarizing all of them, and I'll put them all into chapters. So if you're looking for a specific product review, you'll be able to um, jump to that bit. Uh, and this is all the gear that I have. Um, we'll go through those individually, and then I've got a couple of the other pieces there, which I'll talk about later. So I hope you like this. Please hit that subscribe button and let's get into this. Okay, so the first thing that I wanna talk about are the Petromax percolators that I've got. I've got two. Um, unfortunately, I, uh, I did drop the lid of the white one and uh, it can be a bit fragile. So I had to replace it with the black one. What this does show is that underneath it's made um, of metal. And obviously the beauty of what you've got with the enamel is uh, it protects the metal from rust and it actually makes it quite easy to clean. If you're looking at buying one of these, you may be deciding between black and white. The obvious choice uh, is that the black one uh, will hide a lot of the, uh, the burn marks and scorch marks. But as you can see, uh, the white one still stays uh, or will clean up uh, really, really well. It doesn't take a lot to bring it back to white once you've sort of had it on the fire and things. The cups are really, really light, so they're really handy to, um, to, to take out with me. On a bit of a wild cook so let me show you how the percolator works what you've got is a lid and then the uh, the coffee system so that effectively is just a, a, now an empty uh, jug and in here you have a lid and your coffee goes on there that comes apart so your coffee granules go in there they say a, uh, a sort of a, a mid sized uh, grind to it so not too coarse not too it's the opposite of coarse small anyway so that fits on top of there and your coffee goes into there so you grind your coffee that goes into there and the lid just sits up on top like that you then fill your water up i tend to fill it up so that i can see it to about there and then that lowers into there you put your lid on always put the little funnily part uh, first and that just sits on like that if we had a fire here that would just sit on top of it or next to it and when this starts to bubble what happens is is the water uh, comes up through the spout it bubbles up over the top here over the coffee uh, and then obviously uh, goes into the actual jug itself and if you have a little look on the bottom that's where all the water will drip through the coffee and percolates into the jug I think they're an amazing bit of kit. They're well worth the money. They're about 47-ish pounds on Amazon. Uh, the cups are about 13 or so. I'll put the link in the description below, but any questions, let me know. Okay, next is the Petromax waffle maker, and this is a whole load of fun. Uh, it's not the easiest thing to master, but once you kind of know what you're doing, uh, you're okay. So in a nutshell, it's, a, it's very heavy. This is all cast iron. You've got your handles uh, at that end, and up here, you've got a little hook which just undoes the actual unit itself. Inside, what you then have uh, are the, the, the waffle irons as such, and these literally just unhook. So you can hook and unhook them together. Uh, now to best use these you need to oil the hell out of them and effectively pour your batter in um, seal it back up Ooh. there we go seal it back up and then this hook just gives it a little bit of pressure to keep that closed once that's in the fire uh, as i said it's a little bit tricky to master but it can be done and they taste absolutely amazing so it's about 43 pounds on amazon if you look after this well um, again it will last for life Okay, the next thing that I want to talk about is the Petromax cooking stand, which I actually got recently. Um, it's uh, obviously all metal, it's all branded up uh, for Petromax, and effectively it's as simple as this. It opens out like that, there's another bar that comes out like that. You put that on the floor, and what you've got there now is a, is a cooking platform. You can have your coals under here, you can put your uh, pan, your skillet, whatever it is that you're using on top, or maybe a grill, um, and it's gonna be away from that fire, so you've got a little bit of control about how much heat uh, you're actually getting straight through to your pan and your food. It's uh, just such a simple bit of kit. It's, it's fairly light as well, which I like. It's about 24 pounds on Amazon. It's been absolutely amazing to use out in the woods and things, so again, it's a really good bit of kit. And the fact that it sort of folds down nicely means it can easily slip into a bag or something like that. 
Okay, I want to talk about the skillets next. I've um, obviously got a few here, which is um, uh, the larger size here, uh, which is just plain, again, with uh, pourable spouts on there. These pans are just smaller versions of that, so you can basically get these uh, virtually in any size that you want. Um, you actually have normally two options. You can either have the skillets with a handle uh, or without, basically. For what I need, I've gone for the ones without the handles and they were absolutely perfect for me. The only difference on this one uh, is obviously it's got the, the ridges on there for sort of searing and things like that and that gives an amazing texture. But again, essentially, they, they are all the same, just different sizes uh, other than this base here. Now, they do range in price. Obviously, the bigger the pan, uh, the more expensive it will be, but I cannot rate them high enough. If you look after your cast iron, season it well, it will literally last uh, a lifetime. Okay, the next product in the cast iron um, sort of range that I have is the poultry roaster, which again is basically one big skillet, um, but obviously you can see this conical shape here, and that's actually sort of uh, not hollowed out because it's got a well in the middle, and this is amazing. They call it the poultry roaster, obviously, because uh, one of the main uses is perhaps to put chicken onto it. Um, so you basically, you slide the carcass on top there. I tend to put something in the well, some beer or cider, uh, lemon, whatever you want to do, that's just going to sort of come up through, um, through the chicken itself. And that chicken will literally, it will just sit there. Um, this is amazing. I've done it in uh, the Weber, I've done it in the Barrel Camado. Uh, if you can create an oven, this just becomes absolutely phenomenal and the heat will just radiate all the way through the cast iron and just give a lovely, lovely finish. Um, genuinely, whenever I've used this, I've never had a moister chicken. It is just fantastic. So another thing that works well is you can use this for uh, roast potatoes as well. So if you're not having a chicken on top, um, you could just fill it with, uh, with veg and things like that. It will act like a skillet. Obviously, it just has this there. Uh, alternatively, you can have your chicken on there and all your veg. It's great for serving things up as well. If you want to put a bit of a show on, you can put all your meat and things like that around the edge, and that will look great. Okay, so the next products I want to talk about is the Dutch oven. This is the FT9, which I think, I think, uh, is one of the biggest uh, pots that they have. Um, this is the tool that um, that can come with it as well. And it is for hooking under there like that and then lifting that off. The reason why that's really, really handy is because these can get super, super hot. You can use gloves or pads and things like that to lift it off. That is just a really, really handy tool to maneuver that about. And also that is really, really solid on there. Now, once you've um, got the lid, you can use this just like a regular um, sort of large saucepan so you can have something bubbling away in there. Once that lid goes on, obviously it becomes uh, the, the whole Dutch oven. And here, I don't know if you can see, it's that arrow. There's a little gap there. You can actually control whether you're gonna let any moisture out or not. This little bit of kit I've not used yet, um, but what it's designed for is you can either have it just over a fire if you just want an even cooking surface, or it can fit inside the Dutch oven like that uh, and you could have you could have something on top of there uh, just to create complete even heating all the way through um, that could be good for breads and things like that again I've not used it yet but that is going to come in really really handy again it's all made from cast iron same as the skillets actually one more thing that I should have said is that the lid actually is a is a piece of equipment in itself so first of all if you were using it uh, to bake bread or something like that you could actually put your your coals on top so you can have fuel uh, underneath and on top and that will create the whole oven these little legs will actually help keep some of those coals in place um, but actually if you flip it uh, you will see that the legs then literally become legs and what you've got then uh, is another pan uh, for cooking whatever it is that you're going to do. You could easily do uh, a little sort of one pan full English in there if needed to, but again, that becomes a pan uh, part of the bowl itself. Okay, so two more products that I want to talk about uh, are the gloves that I use all the time. Unfortunately, you can see that they are very worn by me. Um, the reason why I want to talk about these is because they are really an essential bit of my kit. I burn my fingers all the time and these are some of the best gloves that I've had. Uh, they're made of leather. Inside uh, is a bit of more of a, a cottony sort of uh, fabric. But what I like is the fact that even though, I mean, I've got big hands, when you slide that in, um, it does come all the way up there, which is really, really handy when you're, when you're sort of moving around some really high heat. So these gloves are an absolute godsend. I think this is also important to mention as well, it's the, uh, the care conditioner 
for the cast iron skillets as well. This is their, their own sort of brand uh, product which you can use to keep that cast iron uh, in top condition. Okay, so I've got a few things left to show you now. Um, one of them is the hanging fire bowl. And this is it. So it is simply uh, a bit of uh, very well manufactured and engineered metal, three legs. These legs uh, will extend. I've pretty much put them on sort of full extension so you can see that. And then at this point, you've got a few options on what you can do with this. So I've got what's called the fire bowl and that just hangs over the fire like that and then you you basically got an entire cooking surface uh, to use there obviously with the chain you can have that at different heights um, you can also get a basket for that as well if you want to get the raw flames to the food as well now believe it or not that actually cleans up pretty well uh, again you need to season it um, and i use plenty of sort of oils and fats to to keep the meat from sticking but it just works brilliantly now what I also have, and again, not used it, is I have uh, one of these, which is basically, it's, it's to remove the heavy structure of the tripod. Now if you imagine if you're out in the wilderness, you can take this bit of metal and you can find some tree branches that are obviously uh, that thick. So if you imagine these are the, the branches that you've um, foraged or whatever, that goes in there, that effectively becomes the top of this and what you can then do is use the chain in exactly the same way as over here with the hook etc and you can hang your fire bowl hang your basket whatever you're going to do basically it's just uh, a great way of replacing uh, that metal um, with something that easily could fit in a pocket or a bag obviously it's a lot lot lighter than carrying that whole structure around but you may not have the uh, the branches the desire whatever to use that so whichever one's best for you you've got that choice now lastly the fire bridge i'm really really excited uh, about this one because it only arrived recently i haven't actually used it yet i've just put it together today to make this video and it is phenomenal and this is it it looks a little bit like uh, a child swing but what i didn't appreciate when um, when i sort of ordered this is that there are no screws in this whatsoever there's nothing to put together to screw there's no diy it's sort of well it is flat pack but it's not flat pack involving screwdrivers and allen keys and things like that so this basically this hooks around here goes through there and as you can see that is really really solid each piece is really really heavy duty metal um, it's about 16 kilos i think in total but you can hang 70 kilos of meat on here it is really 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 solid i'm over 70 kilos so i'm not going to do any chin-ups on there but again it comes with the basket uh, for your meat your fire obviously can go anywhere from here to here i think that's 1.2 meters uh, wide and your meat can sit on there and as i've already had because i put some posts up on instagram about this this is a meat swing so uh, never would you have your meat swinging like that but if you want to have some fun why not and those are all the products that i have from petromax they have got a lot more um, i'll probably buy more in the future but i think that they are amazing i'm not paid um, by petromax to say any of this so if you do have any questions then let me know i love the kit i think it's well worth the money and um, genuinely wouldn't sort of change brand or anything like that thank you very much for watching this video i hope it's been uh, informative and at times interesting please hit that subscribe button that means absolutely everything to me i'll be out in the wild cooking somewhere soon and putting more content together for you guys head over to the instagram channel and give us a follow on there and i will see you all soon